Okay, wait a minute. Storage unit buyout paid 70 cents each and sold for 400 each. So $1.40 into 800. Is that math right? Whoa, $20 investment. Let me do math here into almost $700. That is just absolutely incredible. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to talk to you about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. That is what Bolo stands for, be on lookout. Um, I get that question a lot, actually. Um, in this video, I am going to share with you November Bolos. These are items that sold on mostly eBay, but any selling platform that were shared by my Bolo Buddies members Facebook group. Um, so if you're in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and you share a Bolo under this post, I will feature it in a video just like this. So we're going to get started here. This is my Facebook group. If you're not in it, there's a link down below. You can join. These posts are in the featured slash announcements section every month. So go share a Bolo. All right, we've got some good ones here. So we are going to start with this first one. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it off of my computer. I'm going to pop up the screen share. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for so that we can be on the lookout for these items. The first one is this Harvey's seatbelt bag. Picked up at a church thrift store, paid $6 for it, and sold it on eBay for full asking price. Are you ready for this? $249. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I would, I would wear a seatbelt purse. Would you wear a seatbelt purse? Okay. The next one. Found this vintage starters UNC jacket at my local Salvation Army for $8.50. Even with a few stains, it sold on Poshmark for a best offer of $145 within 48 hours of listing. So this is what the jacket looks like. You guys, you can sell things for big money on multiple platforms. If you're just on eBay, I encourage you to branch out. Um, I sell on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. I have what sold videos for all of those um, different platforms. If you want to see what I'm selling, I do mostly hard goods, but I do hard goods on Poshmark and Mercari. So it is possible to definitely sell stuff on those platforms that way. The next item, paid $20 for both at a garage sale, sold a week later for full asking price. All right, let me zoom in here and see if I can read this. It is a Bose SoundTouch 300 soundbar with remote. Oh my goodness, <laughs> $399.99. But that's not all, folks. This is the other part. It's the subwoofer, and it sold for $299.99. So $20 investment let me do math here, into almost $700. That is just absolutely incredible. Wow, from a garage sale. I know Bose is good, but whoo, that is just some money right there. That's something my husband would pick up. All right, not sure if this is considered a bolo, but I bought a bag of McDonald's Happy Meal toys for $7.99 and had no idea Gingerbread Man would sell for 11. The bag had about 15 toys in it, hoping the others will sell too. So is this a big money bolo? No, but is this an unexpected bolo? Yes, and I love it. You guys know I love selling toys if you watch my channel. This is a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. It's from 2007 and it's the Shrek Gingerbread Man. Pretty cool, right? 11 bucks. Looks like the buyer paid shipping on that. So that's a pretty good turnaround um, on your money, especially if it's in a big toy lot. All right, Steve Crowder club exclusive mug paid three dollars at the goodwill and sold for full asking of sixty dollars in less than 24 hours and this is what that mug looks like and i don't know who steven crowder is but apparently it's somebody that somebody wants his name on a mug so if anybody knows let me know in the comments you guys are probably like oh how does she not know who that is it says louder with crowder 
All right, paid $35 and it sold for $197.46 and $22.94 for shipping. It is a Disneyland place that 36 piece vintage 1986 Playmates complete with box. Wow, new in the box from 1986. That is incredible. All right, let's see. This is a vintage polo Ralph Lauren rugby shirt. Um, it's just a striped rugby style shirt and it was actually auctioned off on eBay and sold for $41 plus shipping. And this was purchased at the Goodwill Bins and their Goodwill Bins is $1.59 a pound. How much is your Goodwill Bins a pound? Mine is up to $1.89 a pound for um, clothing and hard goods. And then books and media is, I believe, I think it's 59 cents a pound. I bought this. Oh, and if you guys want to see Goodwill Ben's videos, definitely check out my channel because I'm bringing those to you. I am loving it. I am loving the Goodwill Ben's. I bought this at Goodwill for $2.14 with, let's see, was $3.99 and half off. I put it on auction and sold it for $112.50. It is a Pottery Barn Harvest pumpkin stoneware and it's cut off. So I think it's some sort of like plate or something like that. Um, Anything Pottery Barn, look up Pottery Barn Kids. Definitely, um, a lot of times, Pottery Barn's a bolo. All right. Vintage Space Age Panasonic TV sold for $415 on Best Offer. Picked up at an auction for $100. Someone else must have known what it was worth. Even sold for as is four parts because the screen didn't power on. Wow. If it's working properly, comps show 500 plus. Less than two weeks to sell and over 50 watchers in this short time. I'll take four times my money all day long. Comment or message me for any questions. And this is what it looks like. That's pretty cool looking. All right. Found this in a box of free books I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. When I saw the cover, I thought it was going to be worthless. 1990s book. Nope, it's a conspiracy theory book. The revised edition is worth 20, but this earlier edition is very valuable. Look up everything, you might be surprised. This one is headed to Australia. This is a Behold a Pale Horse William Cooper 1991 unrevised 500 page fold out address Zion. $155 on auction there. All right, this one comes from Vintage Spice. She is a Bolo Buddies member, and this is her YouTube channel. Definitely go and check her out. She has some really fantastic What Sold videos. She bought this um, in a lot of 1950s Mark's playset pieces. After dividing it out, she said maybe $3 a piece. Sold for full asking price. And it is a Vintage Mark's Yogi Bear Jellystone Park playset red canoe. It's just the canoe sold for $59.99 plus shipping. All right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member um, eBay store, Champagne Taste 73. This is what it looks like. She said, I bought this at a thrift store for $5. I had it for a long time, but when something is good, I don't mind holding on to it for a long time. I sold it today for $115. It is a Todd J. Warner 1997 zebra bell. So I think what she's saying is um, it was more of a long tail item, which I'm kind of the same way. Like I'm okay with holding on to items and letting them sit for the right buyer, especially with that type of return on your money. At a private family run estate sale, I noticed that one of the rooms had a closed door. I asked the family member if there was anything in there for sale. They said, well, you can take a look, but there's really nothing valuable in there. You gotta love it when they say that. Well, I found this bell in there and they sold it to me for $2. I sold it in about two weeks on Mercari for full asking price of $119 plus shipping. It's an authentic nautical solid brass ship bell. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so we've talked about Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay sales. Um, most of you watching are probably on eBay. If you are not on Poshmark and you are not on Mercari, I do have a link down below, though they are my referral links. So if you join Poshmark with that link, you'll get a $10 credit to shop. And if you join Mercari, you'll get a $10 credit to shop when you sign up. But when you sell $100 worth of stuff, they give you another $20 to shop. So 
$30 total. And those are referral links, so I get money to shop too. So if you use them, I would greatly appreciate it. And let's move on to the next one here. Took only two months to sell. Got it at the Goodwill, yes, while on a bus trip. Paid a bit up for it, $3, but wanted to try a needlepoint pillow. Not sure who talked about these, but thanks. Took a best offer of $24. It is a vintage wool needlepoint Christmas pillow, Santa Toys Bears red velvet back. And this is what it looks like. Paid $1 for this tiny little guy, about an inch and a half tall, at an estate sale, and then it sat for a good six months before I decided to list it. Oh, it was in the money pile. Check comps and listed a little lower because mine had a couple of small chips. Listed for $225, took a, an offer of $200, 24 hours after listing. Sold a similar one the day before for full asking price of $75. Tell me, if you have an item with chips, do you list it or do you donate it? So recently, um, I just put out my, um, well, it's, uh, oh goodness, I forgot the hashtag, hashtag Ben's Bingo. And in that video, it's a Goodwill Ben's video, I find something and the hand is chopped off, it's broken, and the sleeve is broken. And I remember being at the Ben's thinking, do I get this or do I leave it behind? And I decided to get it and it sold super fast. And I messaged the person and I'm like, I just want to confirm that you saw that the hand is broken. And she said, yes, I saw it. And I'm like, okay. So I shipped it right out. So do items that are broken sell? Most definitely. So here's another example of a big money bolo. $225 for this Wee Forest full clown mouse on ball M98 vintage 1983. Annette Peterson with chips, 200, oh, I'm sorry, took a best offer of 200 on this. So definitely, definitely be on the lookout for those Wee Forest. Actually, um, one of my members just shared um, one of these. So you'll see that in another video coming soon. Purchased at my little town thrift store for $35. This one comes from Flippin' Hot Finds. This is her um, eBay store. <laughs> And she listed this on Saturday night and sent out an offer to offer to offers. Sent out offer to offers. How about offer to likers? That was a typo. That quickly watched it. Woke up to a $750 offer and she gladly accepted it. Buyer is all in for $867.05. Um, so she took a best offer of $750 for this Department 56 flat iron building. Incredible. I purchased these at the Goodwill for $20. Sold on eBay, seven-day auction for $199. They are from 1939 and seem to be highly sought after. It is a vintage Moby Dick Rockwell Kent Vernon Kilns Walnut Brown Cup and Saucer Lot of Seven. And this is what it looks like. Storage unit buyout paid 70 cents and each sold for 400 each. Okay, wait a minute. Storage unit buyout paid 70 cents each and sold for 400 each. So $1.40 into $800. Is that math right? Whoa. Um, that's incredible. They are vintage ADS L1230 floor standing speaker walnut oak dynamic. Wow. That's incredible. Bought for a dollar a piece, $7 total at an estate sale. Put up for auction and sold for $200. They are vintage Greyhound dog racing silk jackets. Talk about the unexpected. Um, I'm not sure, number one, I would have known what these are. Number two, I think I would have parted them out. I don't know. I don't know enough about this. Does anybody know anything about this category? Let me know in the comments. Like, is a reseller buying this or a collector? I mean, it's such an odd thing. I bought this Hallmark Hot Potato Rudolph from Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it on Mercari for $45. Hot Potato Rudolph. It's a game, huh? So I wonder if you throw it around like, you know that game Hot Potato? <laughs> I bet it, its nose lights up. Who knows? I don't know. All right. Found at the Goodwill Bins. 
paid maybe three or four, sold on Etsy for $75 plus $45 shipping to Canada. Couldn't find any listed or sold, so priced it higher. It's a vintage 1990s, 1991 San Francisco Music Box Company, elegant teddy bear couple, piano, keys, Elvis, teddy bear song, melody, snow globe. Oh my goodness, those are, that's the title. Look how many characters you get on Etsy. That's incredible, wow. That really helps the, the search, I'm sure. Okay. Free to me and close to home. All right. This one right here is a Griswold tight top 10, number 10 Dutch oven with lid. And this is what it looks like. Sold for $300. I got it in a private pick for $40. It was new open box with a few missing and dried up stickers. Otherwise complete. Sold within three hours of listing for four, full asking price of $324.99. It is a rare 1984 Ken Dream Vet Blue Barbie Mattel. And uh, so it's like a, a Corvette, I guess, but they call it a Dream Vet. This is what it looks like. How fun is that? That's a pretty fun one, right? I bought this from my first trip to the Benz for $2. A very large 24 by 28 inch German map hiding in plain sight right across from the checkout. I listed it and sold it for $70. It is on its way to its new owner at this moment. MCM BLAEU. I don't know how to say that. Wall map of old and new world, 24 by 28 hardwood frame silk screen on foil. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. That was 25 big money or unexpected bolo items that were shared by Bolo Buddies members in my Facebook group. So again, if you're not a member of my Facebook group, go join. It's free and it's free to share a bolo and to have your video, to have your bolo shared in a video just like this. So join the Facebook group and look for the share your best December bolo post. And thanks for watching. If you're new here, let me know how you found the channel and I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching.